All right. <clears throat> I'll find Gambit once again. But operations. well, at least we had a we had a bit of a vacation, so at least there's that. Bit of change of scenery till we, till we come back to the the land of tears and salt. So, this away. Get ready for action. Let's go. Okay, use up all of the boost just to get here as fast as fucking possible because really there's no reason to really wait around. Wait around, and we won't get any kills if we do wait around. We don't have the efficiency to really sit on our leisure, sit leisurely back and wait for our plane to slowly arrive. You see, these guys are P-40, so this says that this is a Tier 7 game. So at Tier 7, they be the, the air defense aircraft become P-40s, but at Tier 8, they become fucking Zeros. That kind of just seems like backwards of durability. It might be down to the fact that more maneuverability to fuck with the slower planes, maybe? Don't know. Alright, there's our point. It would seem as though someone is attempting to capture the mining facility. And they're doing a pretty okay job of it down there. Well, we've got to stop that. What are we at right now? 955 points. Okay, so we're leading a pack now. Oh, wait, wait, nope, 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 the bomber got it. Oh, well, shit. Guy's sitting at 3,000 feet, dropping bombs leisurely on things. I wish I had his gig right now. Aha. Uh -huh. There are two planes. Excuse me, coming through. Mm -hmm. I have to thwart your advances onto this point. You cannot be allowed to win this point. However, the space constraints here for shooting you down are becoming kind of annoying. Okay, there's one. I lost my tail, though. Fuck. Alright, well, they're back. They're not capturing this. As a Junkers, and the A-36 is above us. With a bomber of some description. Oh, for the love of fucking Christ! Why the tail? Every time! Alright, so, that doesn't get us capturing the point, but it at least gets us, well, well, it gets them not having the point, period. And if the AA keeps cracking at that guy, which it looks like they're going to, if I don't fall into a... Well, yeah, there we go. Now I'm gonna leave before the AA actually eats me alive. I can't capture this point on my own, really, all that efficiently, so I'm just gonna book. But then again, hey, wait a fucking second. Who's this now? It's another fucking bomber. Son of a bitch. Alright, fine, fuck it. Whoa! It appears we have a couple of fighters coming in this way. Ah. Get rid of the most fucking dangerous one, i.e. the Spitfire. I shot out everything on his fucking plane and they still outmaneuvered me. Thanks, Tail. Well, pulled that one out. But now the 109 is still over here. The fascist plane. Oh no, it is Lavoshkin. Wow, no. Um, he didn't even fucking hit me and I, my aircraft burst into flames. The Russian bias. No. Ow. Please go out. Thank you. Okay, there's that. Uh-oh. Go away! Fuck you! I kind of both rolling like morons. I helped. 
it looks like all of the ground attack aircraft have come back over the point. And it looks like it's got, it, we're getting kind of into this funny situation where it, uh... The ooh. enemy is concentrating near the plant. Be extremely careful. We're getting into that funny situation where the enemy is coming... We actually captured the base. <laughs> the, the place was swarmed with enemy fighters or ground attack aircraft. Yet it seemed like no matter how many... As the a amount of enemies in that zone increased, so did our capture points. They never actually equalized it. They actually fed it. That's really weird. But now we get free points, and now it seems this this game is actually going our way. Okay, we will go for Yonkers, since Yonkers is actually far easier to shoot down than the IL, which has slammed into the smokestack. He was very he he's a very, very staunch proponent of globalization, that one. Factories are the means of production, and they are the lifeblood of the workers, but sometimes, some of them must go. Looks like the bomber's the only thing up there, so at least this point is somewhat secure, or, or as secure as it's going to get. Keep it up! Victory is almost ours! The AA will take care of those guys. And we got what we needed out of the mining plant, as you can see by that giant, just dump of ch control points. Good, good, fantastic. complete control of the skies. And then we Way also captured all of the points, too. So there's our game. So I can, can I get this spit? No, I'm not going to get this spit. It's, it's over. It's, it's done. Great job today. We'll be waiting for you back home. All right. So that was actually a pretty good game. And we, well, well we made it to the top of the board. Even, we're kind of, that situation really lined up for me because they let me chew on the ground attack targets and they threw a couple of fighters at me that didn't, they couldn't really kill me. They were trying to really fucking hard, but they couldn't kill me. So I got into a situation where I got my a nice little like a nice little murder ball of my own, but came, coming at the pace that I wanted it to, whereas that I could actually kill everything in it. Good, fantastic. Now we should have our thirty-seven though. All right, so, there's our 37. Thank God for that. 3,000 XP off of that. Thank you, Premium Time. Wervin! Wervin, thank you for giving me this, because Jesus Christ, this is considerably better than what I was going to subject myself to beforehand. It's, at the beginning, it was okay, but now I'm really glad the Premium Time here is just, is just here to give me, like, an extra 1,000 to 2,000 XP when I'm doing well or when I'm doing very bad. To just keep everything moving along. But, we've got that. We did pretty okay that game. Like I said, top score. And that's about all we can really hope for. We got our upgrades, we got top score, we look really badass, and now we're leaving to buy a new 37. Which gives us... Actually, well actually, we have to upgrade it. We have to click on it first. It gives us, actually, 120 more damage at point-blank range. And also, well, it actually, it, cu it cuts down our range slightly. Because it's not the same 37 that we've been used to. It's not the sniper cannon. It's basically just a short range, like, a damage output weapon. So, it's not the 37 we've grown accustomed to, but at least it's a considerably better gun than what we've been using. Well, next we have to go 20,000 for the 45. But let's play a game with the 37 and see how it is before I call it a day. Okay, Alpine Gambit again. They they love this map in Tier 7. Okay, and it's vertical again. It's this weird-ass one. You are approaching the area of combat operations. But, uh, actually, no. We're still not all that effective. We still don't have the striking power we had with the Yak-9. Not yet, anyway. But we're a little bit more effective at tearing down targets at close range, I would suspect. So at least our time to kill is decreasing. It's still not instantaneous at a kilometer, though. So, it, we're still not as good as we could be, but we will be, one day. Pilots, get ready for action. Let's okay, go. Okay, so this is a Tier 7 game. And mostly Tier 6 planes along with it as well. So, it is a mostly Tier 6 game. 
So let's go roll right into the command center here and test out the 37 and see what we can manage. Like I said, it's probably not going to be the most amazing dis world-destroying thing in the universe because the range is so short. It's not classed as the same thing as the things we've been using for long-range combat, but it might help. Oh! What's going on with that rate of fire? What the fuck? Um... Um... You know what this reminds me of? The Cosmo Zero. You know, the, a the A6M3 with the three, with the two 30mm cannons in the wings. It's just one in the nose, so it's accurate. Still gotta lead a little bit there, but oh, okay, that's a thing. The rate of fire has increased significantly, as it is stated. But it seems like it's not as unreliable as the, you know, the Era Cobra or Era Bonita's 37, which is like... Hit him once in a while. This is something you can actually count on. As long as you lead the targets correctly. But how far can we push this, I wonder? I wonder. And there's a, a heavy fighter stalking our airbase. Our, our spawn point. What are you doing? So, we've got our command center, but the enemy hasn't captured their command center. So this might be a little bit comical. I know I've probably got a kill ball behind me, way over there. Well, there's our command center. Attention all fighters. Enemy bombers detected. Destroy them. But what should we do? I think... I think what we should do is sit over here and attempt to intercept the kill ball as it tries to come over... Well, there's a ground attack target. Hang on. Well, I ground attack plane, so hang on here. And it is also Yonkers, so let's see how we can uh, remove Yonker. Let us click Yonker. That's a lot of clicks. Oh boy, that's three quarters of his health in a single pass. And there goes the rest of it. Now the kill ball is, yes, moving over our command center. Hmm. Hmm. Where's that fighter? There he is. It's a player, too. All right, fine. You want a nose on? Let's nose on. Nose on with the yak, please. Goodbye. It's good to have some alpha damage again. I don't like the range limitation, but you know what? It hit. It, it hits hard. There's at least that. It hits hard. The enemy has gathered forces to attack the command center. Be cautious. It seems like they're having kind of trouble capturing this base, though, and they're letting the bombers just kind of cruise right on through. Whoa! Hi, Craig. All right, where's the rest of them? Yeah, there's his wing. <laughs> yeah, I know you're back there. It's a bot, though, so we slacked off. Thanks. Goldfish memory! Where's he going, though? Where, where are you going? What are you doing? What's going on? Which way are you going? I don't like sparkles! Thank you. Okay, so now I got some kill power here. Now I got something to work with. Mm-hmm. You better get fucking rolling away. Alright. In the dirt. There's the Yonkers again. Alright, so now this is starting to remind me of the plane that I just left, you know, about three hours ago. Like, the line that I went up. This is starting to remind me of the planes that I wanted. Yeah, 7,000 points. Yeah, see, now we're doing stuff. What do you need? A very large gun. Okay. Hmm. It would seem as though this heavy fighter is 
It's a player, but he's, well, he's dead now, and he's flying away from us. Alright, so, we need to go in here and secure this point. Get rid of some of the air defense aircraft. The bombers up there might cause a problem, though. But these P-40s, probably a bigger concern. That AA, though. Okay, now we're tearing planes apart again. Good, 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 good. We have control of all airfields in this area. Tactical superiority achieved. Well, that's good, but we don't have any bombers. We're kind of at a disadvantage there. Ugh. Okay. Well, ground attack planes, your show now. I tried to take that out for you. Didn't really work out that well. Well, somebody got it. Okay, now I'm gonna leave here very quickly because fuck everything in this area and I have no hit points. The AA hurts, so I'm gonna leave now. And there's actually a full-size airfield over there, so I can actually go and repair- Ow! 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 Fucking goddamn AA. Fortunately, I can't fly any lower than this, because I will slam into trees. I'm attempting to do stealth insertion into friendly fucking territory. Okay, here we are. 10,000 points so far. You any longer. The storm is too heavy. Good thing I made it out of there, too, because the squall line is coming in. Where is the repair? Give me repair. Fix plane. Fix plane. The enemy is about to there win. we go. Push harder. Well, give me a second to fix plane, and then I will be back up in action. There we go. Okay, good. However, unfortunately, the enemy bombers are coming right at us, and there's really nothing we can do about those. So we're not gonna win this match, but boy, oh boy, did I really start tearing planes apart. So, what have we learned here? Holding both of the airbases on this map means, well, fuck all. Hmm. Hey, 1940, take a shot. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be able to really hurt this guy, but I'll click at him. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna be able to hit hurt. I'm not gonna be able to even hit this guy. And there's his allies. Oh boy! Yeah, god damn it, Craig! What are you doing here? Why are you setting my plane on fire? Get the fuck out of here, Craig! Yeah! Yeah, there's basically nothing I can do after this point. Let's see if we can get a couple more kills left. Enemy bombers inbound. Don't let them reach their target. Get the fuck back here. There we go. Okay, turn. Uh, get the fuck back here. There we go. Where's the last one? There he is. The guy I came up here to kill. However, actually, hang on. We're actually gonna... Hmm. Okay, then. Okay, team. Good on you for capturing the point at the last fucking second. I'm gonna guess that me fighting over here helped this area stay alive a little longer. Get back here. Alright, that's the airbase clear. And that actually, that's actually a win. <laughs> oh well, my doom and gloom was actually unfounded. How about that? This is gonna hurt a little by the bomb, when the bombs actually hit the ground, but you know what, we're gonna be fine. There we go, 600, we're done. I'm proud of you, pilots. Head back home. Hey! Marcel? What's this? Marcel. See, word for destroying at least 17 aerial targets in a single sortie and winning the battle. Hey, a not ace, a just about ace. 
a three quarters of an ace, it seems like. Or just about, really. See, and we also got Wing Legend as well, because 14,000 combat points. We actually did very well for ourselves. Surprise! When I have a gun that can kill things, I actually do it! Okay, so. What did we get? What is this? What, what's this medal again? It's the Lambert Medal? Right, right. Rewarded for earning at least 400 capture points in a single sortie with a multi roll fighter. Right? Right. And then we also got Wing Legend and then the Marcel Medal. Which is good. Okay. Hans Joachim Marcel was a German fighter ace in 1940 to 42. He flew 388 combat missions and scored 158 aerial victories in the BF 109. That's a fascist medal. He was considered the Luftwaffe's highest scoring pilot in the battle against in the battles against the Western Allies. Nobody tell him about Hans Rudel. <laughs> but you know, Whitman and Hans Rudel, we can't be cool anymore because they were apparently Nazis because they were good at their job. But whatever. Well, uh yeah, um hmm. You notice something there a little bit? Yeah, you see, um, Funto is still, uh, at the top of the board there, but there's, uh, about a double, uh, point difference between him and the enemy team's top scoring players, and, uh, three times as much as the last enemy play- uh, last te te um, team member on his team, in terms of score. So, what did we change here, class? Oh, we just gave him a bigger gun that can kill things, and then he started scoring ridiculously high again. Hmm. Well! I think we found the answer to this problem here. What is it? Fondo needs really big guns in order to kill things. I think anybody really ne needs really big guns in order to fucking kill things. I mean, you can try and outskill somebody with a 22, but come on now. It's gonna be easier and more relaxing if you have a large gun. But, well, that's actually a whole lot better than what I was expecting. I was expecting something to be as, like, like kind of inconsistent and inaccurate as the Arrow Bonita or Arrow Cobra, which I do have right now. I was expecting a cannon like that, which is like, it decides when the fuck it hits something. This thing? No, it's actually reliable. You can count on it. Good. Very, very, very good. But where does that put us in terms of upgrades? To the 45. It's 16,000. Not that bad. And let's see, going down to the SU-9, we have the situation of the stock grind that's going to be a little bit better for us. Why is that? Because they don't make us grind for a terrible, like, through a terrible gun at stock. What do we have? We have basically the same 37 that we're using right now. So we go down one gun versus the 45, and then we grind 21,000 XP, and we're back up to the 45 with its kill power. And the upgrade is we also have bombs. We have two 500-pound two bombs. 250, but it's kilograms, so roughly double. So about 500-pound bombs which can actually affect the ground targets that we're actually trying to kill. A little bit better, and I think we're going to be in a better position to use these than, like, say, the XP-75, because the XP-75, basically, it lives on altitude because it's a heavy fighter. This thing, it's not the most maneuverable thing in the world, but I think I can probably afford to get lower, and also with the, with the weapon systems that I have on this thing, the range that I can engage people and at, quickly destroy them, I'm, it's going to be a little bit easier to kind of just sort of roll around at lower altitudes because I, can, I I basically have a safety net to where I can, you know, I can engage things before they, you know, get on me and turn, try to turn fight me and most likely kill me. But, so that's our future engagement here with the SU-9. Once again, entirely indigenous Soviet design. Um, that's going to make our lives a little bit easier grinding to tier 8 to 9 to 10. And also, at the I-211, you see we only ha we don't have 45s or 50s, but we have three selections of 37s. We have one that's very similar to the 37 that we have now, but we also have three of them. In the nose, none nonetheless, too. So they're going to be hyper-accurate. Then we have 37s with slightly more damage per second. Slightly either higher alpha or higher fire rate. No, actually, no, it's about the same fire rate. So, slightly higher damage. And then we have the 37s that reach out to 950. So... We ex exchange the fire rate for range at that point. So once again, we're still following the same general idea. Where it's short-range cannons to long-range cannons to incredibly long-range cannons with high alpha damage. Even though it's the same caliber, they're all the same caliber, but they have different stats and they all follow the same thing. The final 37 is essentially... is essentially the 45, but we don't actually have the 45. And then... Goes without saying, the 215, with dual 57mm cannons, we have... 
1,150 meter range engagement range and 290 damage a second. At a and it's slow rate of fire. So that means that the shells on that gun are doing probably 200 damage. And we have two of those guns. So we got two 400 damage shells. I mean, two 200 damage shells going out, going out of the plane at the, whenever we press the trigger. Whenever these things hit, they're going to hurt. We're probably not going to be able to one-hit things at this tier, though, since the health increases are going to be linear. And, like, even this thing has 600 hit points. So... What you, so we have to make we have to hit him twice basically with both guns. We can do it with you know three shots if we get lucky dice rolls, but more or less we're probably gonna have, depending on the dice rolls, two two to three hits with both guns. So four hits. Four hits with individual shells. So you can still two shot things, which is something that the X7 was actually really good at one shotting things because of the survivability and the damage. Differences were so different as we start to go up the up the trees or up the tiers things start to get more durable We were now resting on like two shotting things So this is what we're gonna be looking forward to as we go up. We're so we're basically gonna two shot things in a jet which Well, you know what? I think I can manage I think I'll be all right considering that the first shot is also probably gonna cause critical damage and cripple the guy that I'm shooting at anyway so this, honestly, this is all looking fine and dandy. I don't know what the tier 10 gameplay looks like, but just from looking at what my plane is good at down here, the planes that I've played, and looking at as it projected up to jets and farther up the trees, you know, up the tiers, it all still looks perfectly good here. This all still looks like a good decision to go down this line. But that's for the future. We have... Actually, now a fairly good plane to rely on now with the Yak-9U after you get the 37 and the 20s. But we'll finish up the grind later. I've got to get this stuff recorded because I'm actually uh, somewhat behind on uh, recording World of Warplanes currently. I've been trying to fix a lot of other things behind the behind the scenes. Trying to get more focused on exactly on getting certain things finished rather than bouncing around and doing lots of other things. We've been Me and Gamma have been concentrating on finishing Destiny. So... We'll get that done, and then um, I'm focusing on that and this right now. Which probably explains why there aren't that many videos going on on my channel right now. I'm just trying to get two things finished so that I can actually take a break, and then also look back and go have time to do other things while not exhausting the ever-loving shit out of myself. I'm reorganizing again, but I'll talk more about this later. There's an update video coming at some point. It's, it's overdue. But I'll, tell, I'll talk more about that when it actually comes out. So, um, until next time, I've been your wonderful Los Fontaman, and I'll see you next time.